It's a new effort began today to make neighborhoods across Philadelphia cleaner. The city's investing $62 million to spruce up streets and clear away trash and debris. But it's coming with challenges. NBC 10's Brian Sheehan is live in North Philadelphia with how residents can help make this work. Brian. Yeah, so Jackie and Tracy, many people came out to their cars today and found these green warning stickers on their windshield telling them they have to move their car so the street sweepers can get through. But the next time they get one of these, they're going to be opening up their wallets. This letter right here, uh, steer clear parking of a parking ticket, meaning I'm going to have to move. It looks like on Mondays, 9 to 11, I'm going to have to move from one side of the street to the other. Like many living in South Philly, Robert Simonetti is still getting used to the city's new street sweeping program that requires residents to move their cars on the posted days. If they're going to clean the street properly, I don't see why not. You know what I mean? The what they do now is go up and down. They're not just the middle. So if you can move your cars, why not? Phase two of the pilot program launched Monday. 14 neighborhoods across the city on roads like McKean in Oregon and South Philly and Diamond Street in North Philly. It's where our cameras captured members of the Philadelphia Parking Authority placing warnings on cars whose drivers ignored parking restrictions. It's important that people move their cars. Uh, we're giving a 30-day grace period for them to adjust to moving their cars to a different area, but in order for us to do an effective job, you see our sweepers behind us, we have to have the cars moved off the street so we can go curb to curb. Back on Simonetti's block, cars lined both sides of the street so sweepers couldn't pick up the trash under and in between cars. I hate it. I'm not down with some people sweep it right in the street. I try to keep my front clean. So you want to be on the lookout for signs like this one here on Diamond Street. The program runs Mondays to th through th to Thursdays through November. So how much will it cost you if you get a fine? The city says $37 per violation. In North Philadelphia, I'm Brian Sheehan, NBC 10 News. All right, Brian, thanks.